the BBC presenter has been open about being diagnosed with incurable breast cancer and has been documenting her journey on her podcast to Me and the Big C. Taking to her Instagram page today, Rachel, 40, told her 15,300 followers she needed a top up of oxygen before carrying on with her day. Filming herself having a rest, the journalist explained she had been busy promoting the new podcast when she needed to take some time out. She told her army of fans, so we've had a busy day promoting the new podcast. After that I was a little bit out of breath so I have been sat here with oxygen for the last hour. In a second clip she said, so now we just have to record another podcast I've topped up my oxygen stats. The mother of one then uploaded a snap of herself in the BBC Radio 5 studio smiling to the camera. She said, O2 topped up and ready to podcast. Rachel was diagnosed with breast cancer in November 2016 and has guesstimated she has less than a year to live. The presenter, who lives in Cheshire with her husband of six years Steve and their two-year-old son Fred, has had several rounds of chemotherapy since her breast cancer diagnosis. She recently admitted she is writing a memoir for her young son so he can learn about his mother when he gets older. But Rachel said it's a race against time to complete the book before she passes away. She told the Sunday Telegraph, I would really like to see it published before I. But at the moment it feels like a race against time to get it finished. Rachel also posted a picture of a Word document on her Instagram page where she could be seen typing about her love of cheesy movies. She captioned the snap, It's got to the point I've started my memoir for Fred so he can know me and my take on all the important moments in my life. Anyone want to publish it so I don't have to ever worry about him being short of a copy? It's not as depressing as you'd fear. There is much humor to look back on in life. Rachel recently spoke about the devastating call she received telling her the cancer was incurable. She wrote in her blog, I was at the ice cream farm with Fred and some of his little pals. My heart raced as I answered it, knowing a phone call did not bode well. Then came the words I'm so sorry, it's bad news. The biopsies have come back showing the same cancer is back and is in the skin. She continued, I watched my little Fred innocently playing away in a tire in the barn and my heart broke for him. I scooped him up and dashed home and then had to break. Her husband? Steve's heart with the news that my cancer was now metastatic and therefore incurable.